I'm here at the Flight Control Center in Beijing, where just moments ago, the ground team has announced the Tianzhou 9 mission a success. The cargo ship has docked with the China Space Station, delivering 6.5 tons of payloads, including equipment and consumables, to the Shenzhou 20 crew in orbit. Two shipments that have caught attention are new spacesuits and a set of training devices that can help upgrade the gym in the space station. Earlier, we talked to the engineer. This mission has set a new historical record with a total cargo upload of approximately 6.5 tons. This includes crew supplies for the Taikonaut system, platform materials for the space station system, as well as scientific and technological experiment equipment and facilities for the space application system, aerospace medicine, and aerospace technology experiments. These supplies will provide strong support for the long-term in-orbit operation of China's space station and extended stay of astronauts. The mission is not just about how much it carries, but also how swiftly and safely it arrives. Starting with Tianzhou 9 mission, the three-hour rapid rendezvous and docking mode has been implemented as the go-to method for cargo spacecraft. On the one hand, instead of the 6.5-hour rendezvous and docking marathon used from Tianzhou 2 to Tianzhou 4, it now zips through the process, slashing the docking time and delivering cargo to the space station at a faster speed. On the other hand, while Tianzhou 5's two-hour rapid docking was impressive, this new mode is even more flexible, easing the demands of related systems. Therefore, this represents the more optimized solution. Indeed, it's the best of the both worlds, faster, smoother, and safer. Now, this morning in this control room, I've heard the phrase Beijing copy for countless times. This is not just a routine call, but a reflection of the country's meticulous attention to details and a constant push for innovation. That's what's propelling the country's space efforts higher, mission after mission. Wang Hongjia, CGCN, Beijing Aerospace Control Center.